it's so easy for people to help save Ralph. And on and on we'll go. Hey there, Jeremy here from veganinteractions.com, and in the next few minutes, I'm gonna share with you four ways that you can help to save Ralph. <gasps> can you ask him to get us out of here? Yeah. Stay tuned until the end where I'll be sharing two new observations from the Save Ralph video that I missed in my original analysis. That all starts right now. Like that? Brilliant. Oh, just like in the movies. Before we get into this detailed how-to guide, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who found my channel through my original response video. It's super inspiring to be connected with so many people that were moved by Ralph's story. And thanks to you, we blew through that 700 subscriber count. So if you're new to the channel, welcome and please make yourself at home. And if you're not subscribed already, you may want to listen to The Pig because there's a whole lot more where this came from. So before we get into the how, I think it's really crucial that we also remember the why. Specifically, what is your why power for opposing animal testing? What did you think about when you were hearing Ralph's story? Were you moved during the tear scene? Because after all, like Ralph, other animals can experience their emotions, such as through tears too. So if you need more why power, I encourage you to go back and watch that Save Ralph video again. So now that you have your why power so you can stay motivated to do this going forward, let's get into the how. The first and probably the most obvious way to help Save Ralph is to oppose animal testing. Now be rude of me not to mention the pledge form that the video directs to, which is a bit of an official way to say you're going to do this. Regardless of what your motivation is, I think the key is to remember that motivation so you can keep this in mind going forward. Now, as far as how to oppose animal testing in our day-to-day -day lives, there's a few key tips that I think will really help us. Perhaps one of the easiest things is to keep an eye out on products for the cruelty-free logo, or also something saying that it was not tested on animals, or better yet is the vegan logo, because just because something wasn't tested doesn't mean our fellow animals weren't bred, used, or killed for it. Huh? I did not know that. There's also a few apps you can download to your phone so that when you're shopping, you can quickly check if something's on their list. One of the ways in which we can do this is to email the company. This is a great way to confirm with the company um, whether a product is actually animal friendly, as well as building some awareness too. Because if a company is testing on our fellow animals, it might inspire the company to revisit this and stop doing it in the future. And just to save you a little bit of time, I'll include a template in the description of this video for what you could send to a company to confirm whether something is animal friendly. Also be wary of the emails that say, we only test on our fellow animals if we have to, because they don't have to. They choose to test on our fellow animals to market to certain countries. Wait a minute, who are you? Because there's plenty of companies who don't do this and demonstrate authentic respect for our fellow animals. The laws also keep changing, so you may wanna do a quick search if a company tells you that they have to test. If this may seem like a bit of a daunting task, don't be discouraged. You may want to reach out to a friend who was also moved by Save Ralph so you can be bunny buddies and find animal friendly products together. If you have trouble finding information about anything, there's a good chance others might too. So you could even set up a blog or perhaps a way for others to connect and share information about their research. The more we work together, the more time we'll save and the more likely we are to be successful. And I appreciate that if you've taken years to find a certain product, it can seem quite daunting to give it up. I think that's where we have to look back to our why power to overcome these types of challenges. Much like going to the grocery store for your first vegan shop, it may take a bit of extra time to confirm which products are actually animal friendly. And you might actually be surprised that a lot already are. And for the ones that aren't, now you know exactly where to focus your attention to find products that don't use our fellow animals. I am the one, the way your son don't need the now let's look at some specific resources that can help. There's a cruelty-free international website where you can search for companies or brands through their Leaping Bunny program or the A Billion Veg app. We created a discovery and consumer advocacy platform called A Billion Veg. You can get started in just two steps. Take a photo and post a review of your pizza, burgers, dumplings, or even products like shampoo, oat milk, or cosmetics. The great thing about this app is that for each review you leave, you get a dollar to donate to one of their approved charities. My sister has raised a stack ring $3,000 for her local animal sanctuary. That's a pretty cool bonus for all the animal-free foods and products we're trying. Let's just say the survivors who live there approve. Hi, Hanky! How's the best guy I know? How is he? 
Also, what we choose to do as individuals may vary. However, I choose to focus on the product itself versus the overall company, which is a whole nother topic or can of worms to liberate. Another fairly quick and easy way to save Ralph is to bring yourself up to speed on the alternatives to animal testing. The most basic is for companies to use ingredients that are already out there. There's also organizations you can follow, such as Animal Free UK, who will help bring you up to speed on the latest developments, such as by using human cadavers, computer modeling, and 3D printing. It's also good for you to be aware of some of the powerful forces and financial incentives for animal testing. For instance, did you know that in the US alone, each year, 16 billion is to put into animal testing? There's a lot of incentive to keep that going. Specifically, 16 billion incentives. So looking for alternatives to testing on our fellow animals isn't anti-science. It's actually just good science. And it takes the moral question into consideration versus ignoring it. Ending experiments on animals isn't rocket science. It's just good science. We'll all benefit from that. The third way that we can all help to save Ralph is through building awareness. Imagine if you saw someone doing to Ralph what you saw in the video. Oh, uh, here we go. Hey, 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 don't touch uh, him! Uh, oh, 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 would you just step back and say, oh, I won't buy the products that come from this? Or would you try to stop it? I know I'd try to stop it. That's part of why I'm making this video. So the real question is how can you help build awareness in your own lives? And this is something we're all gonna have to answer for ourselves. But a few ways in which you could do this is to invite friends or family to watch Save Ralph with you, perhaps over video chat, given we're in the middle of an apocalypse. Another way you can help is by leaving comments on the video. There's already over 30,000 people who've commented on this video, and I'm sure you'll find several who are open to the idea of respecting our fellow animals. You never know, you may be able to inspire and motivate each other and help share useful resources with each other. You also may want to put the link for the Save Ralph video somewhere where you can easily find it. That way, if you talk about animal testing with someone in the future, you can share the video with them. There's all kinds of other ways you can help build awareness around this topic, such as creating artwork, memes, and a whole lot more. The fourth quick and easy way that you can help to save Ralph is to make another type of pledge. Because I think we have to ask ourselves, is the fundamental wrong the cruelty, or does that actually just make the situation worse? Is the fundamental wrong not the breeding, use, and killing of our fellow animals altogether? Another pledge I would encourage you to take is signing up to Challenge 22, which is a free vegan support program where you get loads of recipe ideas as well as being supported by a team of mentors as well as registered dietitians. And you get to experience the process with other people who are vegan curious. After all, aren't all animals a Ralph? Does it really matter how they're used, whether it's a laboratory or a slaughterhouse? Because I think it's fair to say that these issues are entangled, and the more of us who oppose all animal use, the more likely that the moral atrocities surrounding animal testing will one day come to an end. And while it may not seem like we can make a huge difference as an individual, the population of nearly 8 billion is made up of individuals, each with their own impact on the world. Don't ask me why they had to specify Earth for this chart, but let's get on with it. All right, now for a bonus for sticking around, I want to share with you two things that thanks to you were pointed out in the comments that I missed during my original analysis of Save Ralph. The first one is, did you see the cereal in the breakfast scene? As was pointed out, this looks a lot like the food that's given to our fellow animals who are pets and used in other ways. I think this could have been foreshadowing and a subtle clue that this perfect serene environment was about to be broken through and Ralph was about to be pulled into the world of animal use. Well, time to get to work. The second observation that I missed in my original analysis that <laughs> besides the tear scene was probably one of the most heart-wrenching things I saw in this video. Thankfully, Tom pointed this out because when you look in the outro screen, you can actually see loads of names scribbled on the locker. Is this better? Yeah, yeah, carry on mate. Okay, so yeah. This is such a powerful way to get us thinking about the other victims who came before Ralph. If there's other things in the video that we've missed, be sure to let us know in the comments because I'm sure there's other things in this super well thought out three minute short film. Thank you for all the liking, commenting, and sharing because it really does help to get the word out. Probably one of the most effective ways to help get Ralph's story out there is to share the link for this video to a friend of yours who may have been motivated by Ralph's story, wants to do something, but may not be sure what to do next. You never know, it could really start an interesting exchange around our relationship with our fellow animals. 
Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. For free resources, such as a discussion guide and language document, check out veganinteractions.com. Thanks for watching.